let's export this insert and see. And I want to cover up all, all these uh, areas that are going to be burned. So we'll do this a couple different ways. First, uh, we'll do this one as a, as a boundary. And we're going to take care of the islands. Okay, so that put patches on all of these tops. Now we want to do this one, and we'll use that same tool we used before, cap internal islands. And I just pick the surfaces that surround the opening, do it in both spots, and then we're going to close up these guys. Okay, so we've got all that patched over now. And I'm a big fan of organization, so we're going to go to the sets and go to the front view. And I would like to put some of this stuff on a set that I call hide. So I can easily get that off the screen. And I also want to create another set called NC. And that'll be the surfaces that we're going to cut. And I also want to create an automatic set uh, called Horizontal Faces. And what that does for me, by one click, it will put all of my flats on a set called Horizontal Faces. And actually, um, I think I might also prefer to add these guys to the set. Let's hide. We've got a patch over that, so we really don't need that there. And again, this isn't terribly critical. It's just a personal preference that I like to have a lot of this stuff off my screen. Okay, so what's left here on the screen I call 3D, and I'm going to go ahead and attach this to that set. Alright, so now I've got a set called 3D, and a set called Horizontal Faces that can be uh, machined differently in my template. So let's go back to the NC side and apply a template And that goes on a set uh, that I call B1, stands for boundary one. And then that will be applied, or I guess uh, looked at in various procedures. Okay, so that should be all the preparation that's required. So let's just go through this real quick. Here I'm setting up the clearance plane. that to all the procedures. Here I'm setting up the target part. This is what is going to be gouge checked against. This one is looking at the stock and it grabbed that boundary 
that I needed. Uh, two and three eighths is the appropriate size for the block. That represents the block in the mill. And then everything else here is driven by uh, the organization that I just set up. So we should be able to just hit execute and go ahead and launch all this stuff. Okay, so the first rougher is done. We can go ahead and navigate that. We'll look at it by layer. It's actually not very interesting until it gets down a little ways into the part area. Okay, here we go. So what I want to point out here is that uh, one of the strategies that Symmetron has that I think is unique is mixed plus climb final pass. And what that means is that while it's in the stock area, it doesn't mind uh, doing any zigzagging, uh, mixed milling, but when it takes the last pass around the part, it'll always be a climb cut. So this will eliminate a lot of rapid moves and make the machine uh, be as efficient as possible. Okay, let's see what else we got. Next, we've got a one inch cutter coming in. And in fact, let's do this. Let me show you what the stock looks like after the two inch cutter. Here's a representation of the stock. You can see it didn't get in between this area. So when the one inch cutter calculates, it knows exactly what's been cut and what hasn't. And it gives us the extra motions that we need to cut those areas out. And then after that one runs, we now have this condition. You can see we still got a big radius in this corner and we still got some big stair steps over here. So we would expect to see the next tool take care of that. And here's the next tool coming in and taking care of those areas. And also I've got floor milling being done and the floor milling all these green paths right here are cutting to zero. Uh, well, zero and Z. Uh, it's taking the floors down to the finished value. But I'm staying away from the walls by like ten thousandths because I still haven't finished these walls yet. So my floors will be finished and I can now bring the 3D set down to the horizontal set. And let's see, what's this one? This one is the quarter inch re-machine. And this one is the finished motion. So here, my 3D set is machining just what needs to be cut with a ball cutter. So the ball cutter is going to come in. You can take note that it's starting nice and deep so I don't round off that edge. Uh, again, highly efficient tool pass uh, with a lot of automation. I didn't spend a lot of time setting this up. The templates uh, all have a lot of uh, great options in them to make this super sweet. Here, I'm extending out past the parting line. I don't have to, to model any extension surfaces. This is a really nice path. In fact, uh, I believe that in the template it says take the longest direction and put the parallel pass towards it. And 
and then I've got automatic remachining. When it does remachining, it stays engaged in the workpiece. Uh, there's not a, a rapid move at every layer. Um, you can let me show you what, what this does. Here, you, I believe I'm doing mixed milling here, but you also can do just climb cutting, and it would do a helical motion all the way down that wall. So that's it. That's how quick the NC can be programmed.